session four starts us out um, basically going around the town trying to see what we can find out. Uh, we have a letter potentially looking like a that either the warden is behind it or potentially a merchant as well. It seems that there's two there are two fighting parties um, biting for Baltimore. Um, while we're out, we go to an abandoned house outside of Balter, in which we find a mysterious locket that Ravana demands to take, and Ravana seems to be fine. It's their locket, her locket, uh, to all of those that are not players within the game. Um, she is possessed. Uh, the locket is now basically hers, but she's now fully possessed, well, partially possessed, uh, by the person who... Uh, was attached to this locket. Um, after going out of the house and escaping, we go throughout Baltor, uh, find out how to get to where these people are being hidden, and we go to a garden, surprisingly, that actually has life, which within Blacklands is very, very rare. Um, we go in, we find that actually the merchant in question, who was the uh, second party basically biting for ruling over Baltor, um, is actually a um person who is working with the vendig specifically they were working with the dominus vendig uh this is the vendig that strives for making deals that involve those with power um or for for hunger of power i should say the dominus vendig um because of their deal with the dominus vendig they actually have the ability to turn into a lesser vendig and we fight them parnox at that time makes another deal with the Vendig, this one being the Bodominus Vendig, allowing him access to the command spell um, to that, but he makes a deal that he must make Balter a town worthy of ruling over within a year's time. After they do that, um, the uh, as they're doing that, they're able to find Lixine uh, and Kenneth are both being taken, uh, being taken actually by the merchant in question. Kenneth, to the idea of the party, seems to have perished. Um, but when we wake up, because after the battle ensues, Kenneth, we see, has apparently passed, and we black out. We wake back up, Kenneth's body is no longer there, but the marks on her shoulders have also disappeared. And the party is unsure of what this means, because they're wondering now if Kenneth has survived. Um, in addition to this, this is also the first time we see the party level up at this point, so the party is now level 4.